we want to add phase shift to um, the properties of the graphs of our trigonometric functions. And let's look at our first example. We want to graph y equals the sine of x plus pi over 4. And I've written down here the graph of y equals sine x, so we can compare it, this curve right here, with the graph of y equals sine x plus pi over 4. So you might just ask yourself here, what would it take in here to make that 0? Because I know that when... I have zero right here, the sine of zero is zero, and that's kind of like where the graph starts. So if I say, well, what will make this expression zero? The answer is negative pi over four, and that also is the phase shift for this graph. Phase shift is equal to y, is equal to negative pi over four. So where my graph would normally start right here, this graph is gonna start at pi over four. So all of these points on the graph are gonna be backed up pi over four units where that was right there, it's going to be back pi over 4, and where that was right there, it'll be back pi over 4. So my graph is going to look like this. And some people like to say, well, the graph of y equal x plus pi over 4 leads the graph of y equal sine x by pi over 4 units. So you can see the phase shift right here, negative pi over 4. The graph starts at 0, the sine curve starts at 0 at negative pi over 4, and then goes through one complete cycle. One complete cycle hasn't changed, it's still 2 pi units. Let's try another one. Y equal negative cosine 2x plus pi over 2. So the negative sign here tells me that the graph is reflected. Um, this coefficient right here, 1, tells me that the amplitude is 1. This coefficient tells me that the period is going to be 2 pi divided by 2, which is pi. And then the combination of this coefficient and this constant term right here will give me the phase shift. So my phase shift is going to be the opposite of this number, pi over 2, divided by this number, 2. So pi over 2 divided by 2, that's going to be negative pi over 4. So my graph is going to start at the phase shift, which is negative pi over 4. It will end pi units later. So it will end at negative pi over 4 plus pi. So negative 1 pi over 4 plus 4 pi over 4 is going to be 3 pi over 4. So let's see, it's going to have an amplitude of 1, so I'll just make this 1 and this negative 1 on the y-axis. It's going to start at negative pi over 4, so let's put that right there, negative pi over 4. It will end three pi, at 3 pi over 4, which is pi units after where it starts negative pi over 4. So if this is 1 pi over 4, then this is 1, 2, 3 pi over 4. So that's 3 pi over 4, this is 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2, and this is just going to be pi over 4. So let's see, I have a cosine curve, it's reflected, so instead of starting at 1, it's going to start down here at negative 1. It's going to go through one complete cycle in pi units, so I'm going to go from 1 to 0, sorry, from negative 1 to 0 to 1, back down to 0, and then down to negative 1. So I should get a curve that looks like this, something like this. This is a nice cosine curve. has an amplitude of 1. It has a period of pi units on the x-axis. It has a phase shift of negative pi over 4, and the graph's reflected about the x-axis. So put all those things together, really pretty easy way to graph this fairly complicated looking function just by knowing what these three, these two coefficients do and then that constant term also. Let's try one more. Y equal 4 cosine 2x minus pi over 2. Okay, I have an amplitude of 4. I have a period of 2 pi divided by 2. That's that coefficient there, which is pi. And then I have a phase shift of negative, negative pi over 2, divided by 2. So it's negative C over B. So I have negative, negative pi over 2 over 2. That comes out to be positive pi over 4. So I'll put all those things together, and I'm going to say my graph will start 
at pi over 4. It will end pi units later at pi over 4 plus pi, which is 1 pi over 4 plus 4 pi over 4, or 5 pi over 4. So let's see, I'm going to go in units of pi over 4, so let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 pi over 4, 1 pi over 4. If I want to know what point is halfway between, I will average these two, so I'll add them together. Pi over 4 plus 5 pi over 4 is 6 pi over 4, and divide that in half. So this will be 3 pi over 4, 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, so that's pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, which is pi, and then 5 pi over 4. Okay, the amplitude is 4, so I'll make that 4 on the y-axis and that negative 4. Let's see, again I have a cosine curve. It's not reflected, so it's going to start at the phase shift of pi over 4. Regular cosine curve starts at 1, goes down to 0, down to negative 1, back up to 0, and then up to 1. So my curve is going to look like this. Nice cosine curve. One complete cycle goes through, takes pi units on the x-axis to go through one complete cycle, has an amplitude of 4, has a phase shift of pi over 4. Now if I wanted to extend this graph in either direction, it would be very easy to do that. I could just come back here like this, come down like this, and I can extend that graph as far as I want in either direction. Once I have one complete cycle, I have as many cycles as I want. So that's a look at amplitude, period, and phase shift.